The dye inside the pellet mill needs to be between 165 and 200 degrees Fahrenheit to properly make a pellet. Of course, the temperature necessary to make a pellet will vary depending on the material you're pelletizing. A list of materials and the proper dye temperature needed is available by referring to your owner's manual in Section 3. In order to obtain the proper temperature, the mill needs to be warmed up. To do this, follow the following procedure. 1. Input material must be ideal for pellet production. It must have proper moisture content and lignant content. 2. Place a bucket or catch-all of some kind under the discharge of the pellet mill. The material collected will be rerun through the mill to aid in warming the mill. 3. Turn the pellet mill's power on. 4. Slowly introduce organic material to be pelletized into the input funnel, being careful not to overflow the chamber. 5. After a few minutes, the mill will begin to expel ground material or a poorly formed pellet. Continue to add material to the mill input chamber, being careful not to overflow the chamber. 6. As the dye begins to warm, you will observe water vapor exiting the top of the input funnel. This is an indication that the dye is beginning to warm up. 7. Once you begin to see vapor, take the material collected at the discharge and reintroduce the material into the input funnel. 8. The dye will prove to be warm enough to produce pellets when pellets being discharged are durable and compressed. At this point, the pellet may not be hard, but as it cools, it will harden. The dye is now ready for continued pellet production.